Eurocom Corporation welcomes you to Overclock University. This training will be administered in three parts. The computer-based training module that you're participating in now, a personalized training session where you're given one-on-one -on -one instruction on how to overclock your Eurocom system, and a final examination. As we begin the course, we should discuss what is overclocking and why you should care. Quite simply, overclocking is running any processor, whether that be your CPU or your GPU or even your memory, at a frequency higher than intended by the manufacturer. There are a number of reasons you may want to do this. First and foremost, you may simply want to extract a little more performance from your system than what's provided by the manufacturer in its stock configuration. Another reason may be that you purchase lower grade hardware or perhaps you have older hardware and by overclocking you're able to extract a little bit more performance and prolong the need and the expense of an upgrade. Last but not least, one of the main reasons people like to overclock is because it's a fun and enjoyable hobby. Many people enjoy overclocking their CPU and graphics card and memory to achieve higher benchmark scores and compete with other users. Whatever the reason may be, we're here to help. And that's one of the aims of this course. A question often arises as to whether or not overclocking is safe. Many computer users, including some experienced technicians, operate under the misconception that overclocking is inherently dangerous. That's simply untrue. If done correctly, there's no reason for anyone to be fearful of overclocking. A third question that naturally follows that of safety is whether or not it has any effect on your hardware. That's a perfectly legitimate concern. If not done correctly, overclocking can, in fact, result in premature failure or damage your hardware. The primary goals of this course are to teach you how to overclock safely, overcome the fear of it, know the right techniques, acquire the right skills, and the right preparation, to overclock safely and mitigate any risk of failure or damage to your hardware. There are a number of limitations to overclocking. First, let's look at hardware limitations. There are component limitations, thermal limitations, and power limitations. When we think of component limitations, we're generally referring to the specifications of your system. If your computer is equipped with a desktop K or X processor, or you have a mobile extreme CPU, those processors are generally fully unlocked. They have unlimited thermal design power, or TDP as it is commonly referred to, and they allow you to adjust multipliers, volts, amps, watts, timings, and a variety of other conditions that will facilitate a high degree of overclocking potential. If you have an ordinary processor that is not of the K, X, or mobile extreme variety, your overclocking potential will be severely limited or even non-existent. Thermal limitations is a more complex subject which we will delve into in greater detail later in the course. When we speak of thermal limitations, we're not only speaking of the way the computer is engineered and the heat sinks and other components that go into the design of the computer, but also your operating environment and the type of thermal interface material that you're using to facilitate cooling. When we refer to power limitations, we're also referring to the specifications of your system. On a desktop computer, the power supply unit, or on a notebook computer, the AC adapter capacity can often be a limiting factor. When overclocking your CPU and graphics cards, power demands will far exceed that of normal operating conditions. If the power supply unit or AC adapter are incapable of exceeding the demand of the overclocking, this will result in instability and extreme cases can result in damage to your components. If you have a dual graphics notebook, you're strongly encouraged to obtain the dual 330 watt AC adapter set up from Eurocom before beginning your overclocking experience. We also have firmware limitations. Modern computer systems are equipped with what's known as the UEFI interface or environment. 
older computer systems had what was referred to as a BIOS. We often refer to the UEFI environment as BIOS, which is fine, but the correct terminology is actually the UEFI interface. Re when referring to restrictions, we're speaking primarily to restricted access to menu options or menu options that do not exist in the manufacturer's firmware. It can also refer to the video BIOS, both of which can have restrictions on power limits, both of which will also result in limited functionality and performance. Eurocom is proud to present you with the Sky X9e version, which includes enthusiast-grade system BIOS or UEFI, as well as an enhanced video BIOS configuration that greatly improves performance and overclocking capabilities. We will explore this enhanced UEFI environment later on in this course. Last but not least, we have user limitations. And here we're referring to fear of the unknown, lack of knowledge, skill, or experience, and user indiscretion. We sincerely hope that by completing this course, you'll overcome your fears about overclocking, that you'll gain the knowledge, skill, and experience to do it successfully, and hopefully we'll lay the groundwork that will eliminate damage and hardware failures that are caused by user indiscretion. The fact that you're participating in this course is an indication you've already made a great decision in purchasing a Eurocom Sky X9. This platform has been designed from the ground up to deliver a fantastic experience to gamers as well as those that require a powerful workstation for business use. This is achieved using the best components available anywhere in the industry today, including a socketed desktop Skylake CPU and up to dual MXM graphics capabilities. You not only have the greatest experience you can today, but unlike the BGA systems that are commonly sold, you have a system that's fully serviceable and repairable should repairs be needed. And you also have upgradability into the future as your needs change. You're here today because you took the next step and you secured the Eurocom Sky X9e version. This is going to deliver you the user experience that you've always wanted. They achieve this enhanced user experience by the enhanced firmware option that we'll explore further later in this course. Enhanced thermal management, which we'll talk about also later in this course. And by completing this course, you also unlock your enhanced overclock protection warranty.